far away today. That UFO could very easily fly away. And since I'm playing Iron Man, I can't take the chance of it flying away. So it looks like we're going to do a night mission for our first mission, guys. We do have a time pool, so that's good. Do I have all my electro flares? Yep. All my smoke grenades? Yep. I really should have got some incendiary rounds for the auto cannon. So, yeah, daytime's too far away, and these guys are landed, so they can leave whenever they want. Oh, jeez, that's loud. I forgot how, long, how loud this part is. Good, it didn't crash. Sometimes it crashes at this spot. That's not yours. You should take an electro flare as well. Well, put that on your belt. It takes less time you just pull off your belt. You, sir, are supposed to be carrying the rocket rocket launcher. Now, oh, wait, you guys. You guys all want electro flares. It's nighttime, boys. You all want electro flares. Electro flares for days. And you, you, this, this is a pistol clip. You don't want that. Does everyone have an electro flare? You don't. Get yourself an electro flare. Okay, looks like everyone's got electro flares. Good. Now this right here should bring our score positive. Should. Should. As long as we don't all die. Give you an electro flare. see out there even though the tanks in the way yes you can awesome okay so the ships right there good to know and now you pop some smoke for us so that we don't all die when we try and leave. Okay. Well, somebody left the left or entered the UFO. Good to know. Just great. I do not like being in the middle. So no visible aliens yet, which is honestly rather terrifying. Just spam electro flares. Okay, yeah, you actually, never mind, you should be carrying a pistol normally. So that uh, if you ever feel like doing a reaction shot, everyone just die. Your job right now, uh, Shuji. Yeah, your job, Shuji, is to uh, you know carry that around. So you know, yeah, both of you guys. Your job is to walk around, not actually to shoot at anything, just to walk around for the most part. So with any luck, I should. That shouldn't happen too much, but that means there's an alien over there. Good. Got a lot of time units. Do you still have? You still have an electro player. I want you to throw this as far as you possibly can. Hey, there you are. Uh, 
55% accuracy with an aim shot, taking out 48 time units. Ugh, you guys all have such atrocious accuracy at this range. Oh, you're suffocating because of the smoke. Forgot about that. <coughs> Alright, well. Eh. How many time units do you have? Eh, you can farm, you can do two auto shots, that should be more than enough. my experience at least, crouching does improve accuracy, unless they miss every single shot, like every single one, like complete noobs, which they are, so I guess I shouldn't be too hard on them, I mean, they are all noobs after all. Do you have enough time units for an aim shot? Yeah, you do. 79% accuracy with an aim shot like that? Go for it. That is how we do it in old country. I want to see what's over here. Tell me what's over here. Ah, why are there so many buildings? I hate it when there's so many buildings. It's literally the worst. Literally the worst. Literally the bra worst. So. My solution, usually, for buildings, is to just annihilate them. <coughs> so that's one alien down of three or four, I think. Probably throw another electro flare over there. Because I'm dumb. I blew up my old electro flare. Oh well, I can this way I can see. Right when they walk out the door. So we want we're one for one. I've killed one of theirs, they've killed one of mine. Yes, is that there's probably one in there still. And that's going to be your guys' job to deal with. You two, you're going to have to deal with this. Wait, why am I sending you first? Send the tank. Hey. Speak of the devil. You crouch. So that's two down, probably one or two to go, I forget. Okay, so there's no aliens there as far as I can tell. James Martin, you shall be the sacrificial lamb. If there's any aliens in here, we will know by, by the sound of your screams. tank. Just shoot there, I guess. Or miss. Do that. Oops, that didn't. Oops, wrong button. No fatal wounds? No fatal wounds. Good. Did I damage your armor? No. Awesome. <coughs> well, that'll make it easier to get into that building, regardless. There should only be one left, but I think there might be two as well. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, there's one. Well. Oh, 
How much does that hurt the tank? Like, not at all. Okay, that that might be overpowered because this armor this armor is supposed to get damaged when they get shot. So maybe that's a little overpowered. Maybe I'm just gonna start bringing tanks on everything. Blow something up. No, well, no, there's no trees there, so we got that going for us. Okay, so that's the edge of the map there. There could be an alien in here. This is dark enough that they might not be able to see. But I'm pretty sure both of these guys don't have electro flares anymore. So we're just gonna have to uh, find out the old fashioned way. What'll probably happen is there'll be an alien that'll come out of here and shoot me in the butt. But I know there's an alien here, so either he comes out and shoots one of these guys, or he comes out and gets shot by one of those guys. Either way, that alien's getting shot. <laughs> Unless they have an atrocious reaction fire, which that sometimes happens. So we've lost two so far in this mission. It's not excessively terrible. I wouldn't call it the worst. And hey, look, there's that guy. Awesome. That should be their goal. There is four. There, that finally managed to destroy my tank. Good, good. So they are killable. <laughs> it's just a lot harder to kill now. You use up some more of your time. So there are four. I'm pretty darn sure there's not five. But watch me be wrong about that. I don't know why I'm sending everyone in on individual runs, but oh well. Being in the middle like that sucks. So he's going to probably walk out. Oh, you dick. He's gonna be one of those dicks. Alright, alright. Alright. <clears throat> Katsuo. You are the sacrificial lamb. At least they're using up all their time units running around in there. Once more with feeling. Question remains. The question becomes Should I arm that grenade anyway? I mean, this is, no, this isn't a shot down one, so I probably don't want to blow up anything. This is a good way to get some Illyrium, because I mean, this is a perfectly functional UFO, so I can get plenty of Illyrium out of this. So, don't die. Whoa, suddenly. A few more than I thought there were. Alright, Tatsuo. I think. We're gonna have to sacrifice you. So there are a lot more aliens at higher difficulties, apparently. That is good to know. That is really good to know. takes, what, 39 time units? You don't have 39 time units. Now you have three. 
All right. Say goodbye, Tatsuo. Now, since I didn't blow up the Illyrium somehow, even though that was what I was counting on, on using to actually kill everyone, since somehow I didn't manage to blow up the Illyrium by some strange miracle. cover this for a lot of money. And delirium. Alright guys. This would be a bad time for an alien to leave. Good. Good. Alright, who's less important? No, you're both rookies, so you're both not important. Auto shots. My, uh, how many time units I have? Alright. Which just leaves this one, which I wish I could, st you know, kill somehow, with, or stun, which would be better. So. I don't want to blow up the Illyrium. If I shoot it, I might blow it up. So I want to make sure I do an aim shot against him. Alright, that should have been the last one. Yeah, alien dies as there's no containment facility. I know, I know. That last one that I probably shot, I imagine didn't die, but just went unconscious. Alright, positive score of 119. Because we managed to kill six aliens, recover seven corpses. Somehow, there are more dead aliens than we killed. lost two XCOM operatives. Pretty sure I lost more than two. These numbers are a little off. But we did recover 50 Illyrium, that's good, and 11 alien alloys. Awesome. Maybe some of those guys uh, went unconscious and didn't actually die. It's entirely possible. Alright, so that's going to do it for this episode. We will see you again later if anyone decides to keep watching. This has been Nictator, and I am signing off. Bye.